guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello welcome i hope you all had a merry christmas and are looking forward to this new year i know i am first of all because we recently moved into this new house and we have a lot of projects planned that hopefully will happen in 2021 one of them being the makeover of our master bedroom because this is the very first time ever that we have big enough of a master bedroom size to where we can accommodate a king size bed and all the furniture that goes with it but I am debating whether I even want to go that route or just go ahead and keep a queen size bed because fun fact the comforters that I use on our queen size bed are actually king sized and the reason for that is that I like it to hang a little bit lower so that it's not skimpy on the sides so if you guys ever have that problem or like more of a fuller look on a bed just try this little trick of going one size up bed so if you have a twin try a queen if you have a queen go up to a king so so if I do upgrade to a king size bed, I might have trouble finding comforters that are long enough. So for any of you that have made the switch from a queen to a king size bed, um, let me know down in the comments how you like it. Do you see any difference in it? Is it worth it or is it pretty much the same thing? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts because I am debating on what to do in this bedroom. Now moving into the kitchen, I am first going to start off by unloading the dishwasher because it still had dishes left in it from the previous night. So before I can get any of the dirty dishes in there, I have to unload it. And then I will continue cleaning the kitchen as usual, cleaning out the sink, cleaning the countertops. I'm also going to be wiping down the cabinets. So let's go ahead and get started in the kitchen. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us, I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Hope you believe in us, please don't give up on me the countertops I noticed that there was a lot of food that had made its way down to the floor obviously my son is in the stage where he throws down a lot of food and this wasn't even as bad as it can get so I just went and grabbed my broom and dustpan to clean that off because I don't like to go over um, like wet food with the vacuum unless it's like crackers or something that is dry because I don't want to ruin it so yeah that's what I'm just cleaning up here so that I can actually step on this area to wipe down the countertops I 
also went ahead and gave all the cabinets a good wipe down because I don't want any dust or grime to accumulate on them, especially because they are white. I would like to keep up with them. And I am also wiping down the stove. In a recent video, a few of you asked me what this black thing was on my stove. And this is actually a stove gap cover. And it has come in quite handy. Um, it prevents food from dropping in the little slit that is left between the stove and the countertop. So any food, instead of going down into the never-ending abyss that you can never clean out and reach, this sits on the gap perfectly and prevents any of the food from making its way to the bottom. And it is very inexpensive, so I will link it down below in case any of you are ever interested. It's a good way to keep your kitchen even cleaner. If you guys watched my move-in video, you might recall that I mentioned I was skeptical about my fridge not making it through the move. And here we are a few weeks later and it's already giving us problems. The freezer section has started to frost up. I've been keeping it clean and then trying various different methods to figure out what the problem is and see if we can resolve it without having to buy a brand new fridge but it looks like we might just have to cave in and replace our fridge because since the recording of this video it also has started beeping in the refrigerator section it's just not holding up the temperature that it should so the last thing i would want to deal with is the refrigerator starting to leak water out or something and then just ruin our brand new cabinet so if you guys have any suggestions on a very good fridge leave them down below i'm also questioning whether i should stick with the side-by-side -side refrigerator like we have now or if to get one of those French door refrigerators the ones that have the doors on top and then like drawers uh, towards the bottom for the freezer section so let me know down in the comments which type of refrigerator you have do you have the side by side or the French door and do you like it or what do you not like about it because this is the only refrigerator I've ever had and growing up we've only had side by side so I really don't know and I would greatly appreciate any input that having black furniture pieces rather than white or lighter colored furniture would make it easier to keep clean and all of that but as you guys can clearly see in this clip that is not the case dust and lint and any other spots show up very easily so I regularly have to pull out my duster and dust everything off
As great as it is having big windows and glass doors with kids, it's just pretty hard to keep clean as you guys can probably see in this close up there was a ton of smears from the kids just touching the glass to look outside and then here in just a little bit you guys will see in a clip of a window where I even found a little lip imprint from probably Kaylee kissing the glass so yeah that's what I have to deal with these days and so I'm just going to wipe down all of the glass surfaces. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. to clean up all of the toys that my kids have managed to spread out in the living room so I'm going to be bringing these back into their playroom that is also going to be one of our big projects here in 2021 I really want to create a nice and functional space in the playroom so that the kids can play in there and hopefully that deters them from bringing their toys over into the rest of the house but who am I kidding it's probably impossible to keep all of the toys in one area they'll find their way out one way or another I've been running circles trying to catch my breath I've been trying everything I can but I ain't got nothing left spot my Christmas pillow still on the sofa and a little clip of the Christmas tree here in the corner and that is because we wait until after January 6th which is the Three Kings Day to take everything down but anyways that is going to be all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up share with anybody else that you think might enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe also if you are new here and I hope to see you guys back here for the next one bye guys